Hello everyone, this is uh, Boris for um, Tactical War Games. Today I'm going to play Ali Ejecta S tutorial. Uh, the idea here is that we uh, present you a game as if you were going to buy it tomorrow and start playing with it. So usually when you play games you start by the tutorial and because you don't know the game and you want to understand the mechanics and understand what it is all about. So that's exactly what we are going to do today and I'm going to play this first scenario with you, walk you through. I'm discovering the game with you. It's a very complex game and at the same times it's a very very enjoyable one. I mean if you look at all the review of this game it's impressive what the work has been done here. Historically, uh, the accuracy, historical accuracy, and of course all the mechanics of the gameplay. Um, this game is uh, distributed by Matrix Game uh, and developed by Ediot, uh, for those that know. Uh, and uh, so let's start now and let's see what we have to do. So, um, when you start a new tutorial, so you have this view over here. Uh, so you see the world map, um, and uh, all this is all divided in small regions and territories. So over there you have uh, a resume of whatever we have to do at the beginning of this uh, mission. And I would scroll a little bit that you can see the extent of this map, of this world map, uh, world known back then, okay, probably uh, extend to the uh, frontier of the empire, of the Roman Empire. So we are Caesar, and our goal is to capture the key cities in Hispania Uchayod, which is the north of Spain, uh, from our opponent Pompeius. The cities are called strategic cities. Okay, we will go and let's see, we can zoom with the button of the mouse, the right, the middle uh, button of the mouse. So here we can see the cities. So I guess we are here. This is Caesar. This is one of my general, Fabius Manus, and those cities in red are mine, and those regions as well. As you can see here, we have our, um, how you can sell it, our token that represents our empire and our influence, and where our, from which um, those regions belong to. And here we have the enemies. Um, so the cities are called strategic cities, and as you can see the names on the map display in a red Caesar or in a purple for Pompeii stripe. While secondary cities have light shades of the same color. So we can say that uh, which one. So this is a major city, I guess, and um, stripe with secondary cities have light shade. Yeah, okay, so of the same color. So over there. A star in the city indicates the city is a certain objective. So your objective is clearly marked in the in 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 the scenario. So all those cities here, so Salbuda, Ilerda, and Taraco, are my main objectives. And for my enemy, I guess this is the objective for me to keep it, of course, and not to lose it during this tutorial. That would be very, very, very. Uh, bad and I uh, will be so ashamed. So the regions are uh, slightly covered by a shadow. Uh, those ones, they are under the fog of war that I've activated. This is something you can uh, or not have. Uh, so we cannot really see what is into it. Uh, that's the principle of the fog of war until we have actually discovered those regions. So we will uh, continue. So after this small presentation of uh, the first view, let's scroll right. So we can scroll by um, yeah by by just uh, moving the the mouse pointer on one of the sides, or by using the arrow key of um, the uh, your keyboard. So we have information, as you can see, for each region um, every time. You, but of course, not for the one we don't know. But over there, so information uh, about the civilization, of course, who own this uh, place. Uh, if there is road, um, the supply level, the loyalty, who it belongs to, 
So here it's clearly Caesareans and here clearly Pompeians. And you can see uh, here we have um, Roman roads. So I guess it's much more easier to and much more faster to uh, move your army using those uh, Roman roads than those regions where there is tracks only. Um, we have, of course, the geographic area, but that's for really the fanatics of uh, geography, European geography back then. I'm sorry to say it, I'm not very, very uh, versed to this kind of uh, data myself, but here Gallia, I mean, probably uh, today's France, and Hispania Peninsula, um, that is the northern uh, Spain, and I'm sure that uh, we could uh, find other. Uh, actually, this is Gallia over the place, and Italia Peninsula and the Alps. So, uh, and then we have other control that I am not sure. But the military control is Caesar over here, and here over Pompeius, as you may see, all of you, um, it's 100% each time over there. And detection, I have no idea what this is, and we will probably see that a little bit later. So, let's place the mouse on the army in the region Barcino. Uh, Barcino is this region, so we are going to see a little bit more about the armies. So, we will click it. So now the army is selected and you can see that uh, there is a leader in this army and it's Caius Fabius. Um, three legends, two cavalry, three auxiliary, auxiliary units and some supplies wagon. Your first goal is to order the army to move towards Tauraco and Pompeian strategic city a bit to the southwest. So over there. So, this is the first city we are going to try to capture. So, to move an army, you have to use the drag and drop uh, system. So, which is actually really neat. I really like it. It gives you a sense of, uh, yeah, of being on a war room and over a map. So, we will uh, click this army and we will outing it. And then we will move it to the region of Sese. That is this one, where is Taraku City? Over there. And we have released the pattern to move. So now we are targeting these regions, and this army will move during the resolution phase. Uh, we can see that the movement path appears here, over there. And this movement path actually is displaying the number of days that require uh, to cross each region. So each turn is one month. So our army will reach the destination in four days. Actually, uh, it's at seven. So it's uh, embarrassing. <laughs> uh, why uh, did I do something wrong? Ura. No. Okay. Um, we will just try. I think to delete my movement for now. And we will do it again. It's still seven days. So up north, we will go <laughs> in Abo. Uh, we have also a stack that is led by Caesar himself over there. And so with two legion over there and a few other troops. So we have the German, uh, I'm actually not sure, but they are. Oops, I um, how do I see it? No, I cannot really see the details. But there are auxiliars and some German troops and equities, this is the cavalry and some more auxiliar that is have like javelins regular uh, type. <clears throat> so we will order them to join the army of Fabius um, by just taking the full stack and just drag and drop it over um, Fabius um, portrait. So they aim and say now we get it right six days it should be all fine. 
Okay, so we are just going to pass this turn. Uh, click on the next turn button at the top right of the screen, which should be that one. So each turn is 30 days, as we said before. So it's actually interesting because you, we move our army. As you can see, there is no actually uh, conflict with any other army. So we passed those 30 days. Uh, even though our army took like six days to get there, uh, the time that we just passed is anyway 30 days. So this if there was to be uh, a conflict with another army and a, a battle to start, it would start, um, it will stop the resolution of the turn and we will start the battle, but we will anyway continue resolution until the end of this month. So we have messages that tell us about turn events and we can return to the message list at any time by just right clicking anywhere on the map. Uh, we can also scroll the message either by using the arrow button on the right side. Okay, so it just so as you may see here we have a resolution. So Caesar joined Fabius at day eleven, and Caesar has constructed ballista, and we have actually constructed uh, siege siege engines. Uh, in the same region. So we are actually sieging the city, the Tarko. And we have a fleet that is Kepa Storm, probably this one, that one here. So if you click on an event that mentions the region names, it will center the map, uh, for example, over there. So up, that's which, which is nice because it helps to immediately go and focus. Um, and we can also focus on fleet. Uh, on the red messages. It's an important event and it has its own descriptive window. This is the case with the arrival of a fleet at Emporia. So over there, the fleet, uh, it actually is not there. <laughs> it has, no. So we can actually, okay, we can double click on these red messages and see them uh, and what they are. They are events all over the place. The fleet command is by the decimus is kept. Okay, because uh, as you see, apparently the specs, depending on your general rules and your leader, I think if I understand that, I mean, why will they then? Yes, it's probably some. Uh, yeah, we will see that later, I think. Sorry for the gibberish. All right. So my main message tutorial message just disappear somehow and I'm not sure how to find it now. <laughs> uh, oh that's really that. Um, so how do I get back to um, the tutorial message? Oh gosh, I think I, I have lost. Uh, Okay, um, well, I'm not sure how to get my, uh, the tutorial message back, so it's, it's quite of, um, embarrassing now because I was in the middle of this explanation, so, um, maybe opening this wasn't a, that's a good idea, but I can replay the previous turn, so I'm co going to try that, and hopefully, Hey, no, it doesn't work. Um, so I'm going to pass the turn and see what will happen. But I think we lost just a turn now, and that's really, 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 really embarrassing. I think we're going to fail the tutorial.
I don't know what we just did, so it's it's really bad. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so no doubt that Caesar has won another brilliant victory. So we, we get a city somehow, somewhere. Uh, not even though. I mean, I think we, had, we were supposed to move. So uh, what I'm going to do quickly, and I'm sorry about that. We are just going to uh, restart the tutorial from trash. Um, yeah, I mean... So this is the the main menu of the game, and we are going. So as you can see, there is a few scenarios already uh, set from different periods, but we are just going to restart the tutorial. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So we remove the armies as we expect to to do. All right, and we will pass the turn. And we just follow up, follow whatever it says um, the tutorial. All right, so we won't click anything, and we just continue. Remember to reopen the message list and select right-click the currently selected army. Yeah, but that's not interesting. Part. Okay, the poster. So. The army have posters, so um, you can see here uh, the small icons on the top right of each uh, stack and portrait. All right. Um, so this one is orange, this one is blue. So there is four different possibilities. So there is the assault, that is a very aggressive, uh, to the passive one. All right. So to start a battle. Um, you have uh, to have at least an assault or an offensive posture. Otherwise, it's all defensive, or you will just try to ignore the, uh, to avoid the other armies. So yes, they will coexist peacefully uh, in the same regions, whatever I mean peacefully. Uh, four posture buttons will also give you more details. So we we can just uh, see over there. Even you click on an army, the poster are over there. So we have the assault poster for ground force. We have offensive poster. So the the, the assault is really uh, they, they go and attack anything. Uh, they don't try to siege anything. They just go and go. The offensive um, they will attack any opponents in the regions. Uh, and there is no entrenchment, but you can get some military control percentage, some ground. If you have the upper hand in the battle, uh, to go back to the posture here, the assault posture. Um, sorry, I'm just reading it a little bit. If you need to assault all structure and court while moving, you must also set. The, okay. Then we have the defensive posture, so you won't engage anyone, uh, but uh, you will defend yourself, and you will actually, uh, you could actually. Um, uh, use the terrain to your advantage, but you will not gain any ground military percentage by defending against an enemy if you have the upper hand in the battle. And then the passive, so basically, uh, it's penalties if you are attacked. If you are attacked, you have a higher chance of retreat during the replacement phase. Then you have the all okay. So you you can take you can you can take an offensive posture, and then you can also uh, a posture, I guess, right? Yeah, the rules of engagement. So you can be in an offensive posture like we are, but you will never try to retreat during the first two rounds. Okay, so they are okay, and this is the default behavior: no change made to combat resolution. Conservative attack. Your side will want to call off the attack beginning with the third round, unless the defender is collapsing. The chance to succeed in doing so are increased. So you have conservative attack. That's what we had, and probe attack. Your side will want to call off the attack starting with the second round. Okay, so they are basically very uh, interesting to use. Okay, so as I said before, we started to siege a city. 
and I mean if we if we pass uh, our here you see the flames so so they cannot really leave uh, to leave off the land if need be adjacent towns and cities also receive a slight supply production penalty so basically they cannot leave out of uh, f from the land uh, we are pitching it yeah I've also detected that uh, we have an army near us um, in Elida in the northwest from our positions so over there uh, it uh, so we are going to crush them now so we are going to keep a small force over there oh it says see there's another icon that I could not see before uh, that is yes so it's a siege icon over there so we are going to split our army a little bit uh, we are going to leave uh, Fabius to siege Taraco and we are going to send everything else with Caesar uh, to smash the enemy so let's click on Fabius then holding the control key you build a new stack I guess and to keep the units you want so we'll follow we follow whatever the tutorial says just to understand a little bit forces and sieging so we are going to take the weakest legend and the ballista so the weakest i guess will be the 228 over there yes legio number two Override combat strength is 228. It's a bit shallow, whatever. Uh, I, I should read a little bit because it's difficult to. And the ballista. And the supply wagon for the ballista, I guess, and the, the small army we are going to do. And still loading the control down and clicking on one unit after that. Once all are selected, release the control and choose any one selected unit and throw up it empty part of the same region. Okay, so we are taking that and put it there. And here we have Fabius Magnus small sieging uh, group and we still have Caesar and four legends and everything else so so we have a port over there as the said so but it's unblockade so they, they could actually receive um, by the sea some um, some goods or, or yeah so we we don't want that i guess so we are going to move our boat so we are going to move our fleet here over there to blockade the city so as it says here we, we you you won't be allowed to to assault fortified cities unless you make the bridge on the walls uh, but for few leaders apparently that may uh, do this without but that's not the case at the moment so bridges are often through siege duration and luck it's a long process especially with well fortified cities fair enough and the fortification I think is what you can see over there is the small two over there that's the fortification Roman Legion however have a unique feature when the siege, they will build siege engines, the ballista. That's why our uh, general, um, I mean, Caesar was starting to build those siege uh, weapons once uh, he arrived in the region without us doing anything. And they would be on the spot, as it says there, as we should speed up the process. And we refer to the manual, which I have uh, over there, but you can see. The garrison appears strong, uh, so so if we pass um, the bronze square on its left with a figure inside, indicating the number of army in garrison. 
So I guess that one. You can even get the name of those armies in the two tips when moving the mouse over the structure. We have like three units. Is that... I guess, yes. Um, so, if we have fleets in the city, so we see a blue square with a number denoting the presence of naval units, but that's not the case here. So, we are going to send Caesar. Okay, so the, there is actually a river. So it would be very risky actually to try crossing this river and attacking at the same time this fortification over there with this uh, small army. Um, so we have actually to move a little bit. Um, so if you move that way actually you could actually cancel your order before uh, ending up your, your turn just by uh, pressing the delete. And basically, it will one by one. It will remove each steps of the movements. So here I click uh, the deal key and I did it again, and then we cancel our movement. So we will take the army and drop it into the mountain regions of Yeso over there. So we will move there. And then we will move in Oscar, which has actually an army over there, some Gallic people. And then go back to the enemies over there. And We'll end the turn. Um, I haven't actually moved my fleet. Um, was it part of it? Because I... I think we could move our fleet over there, can't we? Let's see what will happen then. Yeah, I guess it's enough to move it there. Alright, so let's now... Caesar is moving, our fleet is blockading, and here is the battle happening. So here are the battle report. So it looks a little bit overwhelming here, um, but you can see. So this is the initial force advantage to us. Um, how many range casualties? So we don't really have uh, much actually over there. As I said before, see it's it's happening uh, in 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 the resolution of this month, and we will continue now. So the resolution. So there was one round only. Okay, so... I'm trying to understand a little bit this report. So basically, this is our full army. This is his. 
and this is the case with the T at the end. So he actually lost two cohorts and two. It's not really clear. Um, I'm not sure how to read that. So if anyone could actually, I need to to go through this uh, manual. I think. We have won the battle, that's for sure. Uh, a combat report tells you about it. Um, but I don't want to <laughs> close this again. Uh, the symbol that I've seen, uh, you see here, is representation of the troop. Okay. A combat report tell you more about what happened here, about there. To indicate the starting force of each side, the fire and assault losses, and multiple to tip icon full of statistics. That's really helpful. Uh, the army commander has his portrait display along with it. Uh, most important characteristics such as strategic value, which eases movement, as well as his tactical ones, which give bonuses in combat. And the symbol that you see are in representation of the troop of cohorts. Okay, knowing, for example, that Food Strength Legend usually has 10 of them. All right. So we can capture the city uh, by changing the army poster to assault and then next turn we just attack the empty city. All right. So here we have land units on our fleet that we can actually drop over there. Ah, right, so we attack by the sea. And we trap them there. So Fabius um, needs to at some point assault this city. And this may may last. So we because it will be lasting, so we will put it in a defensive posture. Um, Okay, this Okay, so the idea here is to entrench uh, the army since it's besieging the, the we have at the time we need to conquer it. We don't want to assault it. So by actually putting the army in a defensive posture we will entrench it and in case we have a surprise attack or if the defender wants to go out the walls to break the siege it could be a very good idea actually to be uh, ready f about, uh, to be ready for that I don't want to retreat. Never. <laughs> so we have options. The options windows pop up and present you with an option. It affects and causes the discovery to tip to validate an option. 
Alright. So, what are options? Alright, so we can see here various, um, I see here the map. Okay, so we can have, we have politics. So here we, we can play this card, we can hire some Gallic. So we will, they will arrive in Cicero. And we can reissue them actually twice per year, which is really good at the cost of some money, of course. Uh, I guess when you play other, okay, when you play uh, other scenario, you may also produce actually uh, some units wherever you need to. Okay, so this is the force. Okay, this is a report of the force uh, on the field at the moment. Um, okay, so we are going actually to get the reinforcement since, well, you know, it's the tutorial asking us to do so. And we pass the turn. As you have seen, the, we did not have any choices where to put it, by the way. So that was the attack against. Um, but while well, against the city, we were uh, attacking. Um, so this is the initial force, and basically this is the uh, ranged casualty. So actually, we 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 really destroyed them, wrenched <laughs> uh, with our arrows or whatever we have as weapons. So I think yes. So our auxiliary here, there, just kill them all. I mean, we didn't have, really had to do anything. Actually, you know, here, yes, yeah, see, is the ballista uh, that has inflicted uh, all the damage. Which is funny because I don't see how that's add up we have inflicted six okay I'm not sure but if we have inflicted six with this right and we are actually Okay, they actually suffered. Okay, I'm not sure how that works, but it's really, really weird to me. Uh, I will, I will think that numbers of damage inflicted by your units, if this is the only one that has inflicted it, will have been, you know, reflected here. But it's not how it works apparently. So I just need to understand that a little bit more. But uh, they're dead, so it's it's good for me. Uh, I can have the city in the region. I just don't like to not understand what just happened. All right, so now Ileda, um, which is over there. That's not bull. Yeah, sorry. Um, was captured by Caesar for now. Oh, by the way, that's yeah. That's actually our uh, reinforcement over there. To have uh, so you can actually take and and garrison your uh, your your men over there. So he's there, and I think if I and select it, so now he's in the garrison. And you can at any time just put it uh, out behind. So right click will make it disappear, but it is in there and you can see over there the force in presence in the city. As per here, uh, Taraco is gone. And over there, I guess, is the same. We get all the regions back. 
uh, there was nobody there anyway. So, so we leave the city over there. Um, yes, as you can see, uh, the loyalty is to us and to some slaves. Okay. All right. So that's how you take cities and you garrison um, our uh, troops into it. So of course, important defensive benefits. That's uh, obvious. Yes. Uh, and they will recover from replacement and fatigue much faster. So, special orders. There are several special orders that are used to manage your forces. And there's regular movements, group organization, leader promotions, and bushes, and uh, construction of forts. Okay, so the button to select this are immediately to the left of the poster button when a group is selected. So let's group over there. Is that? So effectively you can build a depot, set an ambush, combine units, split units, and a structure. So um seems a lot to do. There's also a special order that has no button. Uh, it orders an interception. It's very useful in following and, and, and catching an opponent. This order will also uh, allow your army to train with another. So we are going actually to go with Fabius, that is Siege uh, Taraco. So our Gallic, uh, wait, this is there. And we're asking him to go down. Sorry, there was a small issue. So, um, as seen here, you can actually um, 
build armies um, and units over there. So uh, this is the units that are available for you, uh, for your empire. Uh, so we, you just click on the one you want and then you I just have to check the map on wherever it's possible to uh, build it. So over here, the green here, and here we have no, uh, here we can't actually. Be. So we, we just, so we just drop it over there. And um, so so it, it cost me 30, I think. Uh, actually, I could build also some walls. since I have destroyed some. All right. So you may have seen Caesar going there and rebuilding the walls. So we are going to assault. Uh, but basically we are going to assault this last city. So imagine um, if we had to continue a little bit more. We already have filled our walls, so we don't need to do anything. So just let's finish this tutorial. So it's the phase two. And I think we kick them during phase two. Round three, actually. I missed. I missed straight. So. Global commit value. So we had better units and they suffered a lot more. He has made three attempts to retreat. Okay, so it's really about statistics here. It's, it's, it's a very shallow way to see things because you don't really see anything. It's just about very, very statistic based uh, results here. You have to trust that you send the right troops at the right moment. You have to really spy on the enemy's army before you do any move to them just to make sure and, and to really, really um, make sure that you understand uh, the ground you are on, uh, if there is fortification around, what is your stance as well when you attack attack them, what is your, uh, as we've seen before, um, you have, um, uh, with the stance you also have, uh, um, oh sorry, you also have a way to say, okay, uh, defend or attack, but also try at the second round to attack more or, or, to, re or to retreat and so on. So you really have to choose those uh, wisely before you do any move. So I guess we won the tutorial and uh, well, it was quite easy. Let's say it has no really difficulties over there. Um, so I will just uh, go back to the main uh, screen now. Thank you for watching. Um, and next time I will actually try to start a full game of Aria Jekta Est. 
since now we did the tutorial and start to make something I mean to play through something more complex uh, and yeah so thank you for watching it was Boris for tactical wargame